Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem, it is said that determine the force is mem in member BE of the loaded truss, right? So we are required to find the force in this BE member, and we will solve this problem by using the method of sections, right? So if we pass a cutting section from this BC, BE, and EF, and then we will consider the right hand side of this given truss, right? So if we pass a cutting section so then we will have this uh, bc member force this be member force and this ef member force and let's say that all the member forces are tension forces they are acting away from their uh, corresponding joints right so let's say this is bc member force this is be member force and let's say that this is ef member force right and then we will consider this side of the truss, right? This right hand side of this truss, right? So now as we can see that we are interested to find this BE member force and this BC member force and this EF member force is not known, right? So we will apply a moment condition such that this BC and EF, they are eliminated, right? So as we can see that this BC member force is passing through this point D and this EF member force is passing through that point D. So if we apply the summation of moment about point D equals to zero, so this BC force and this EF force will not come into our equation, right? They will be eliminated from our equation, right? But before going to apply this summation of moment about point D equals to zero, first we need to have this angle, right? This B A member force is making some angle with the horizontal. Let's say that this angle is theta. So first we are required to find this theta right so if we apply if if we apply tan theta to this triangle let's say right and let's say that this intersection point is p right so as we can see that if we apply tan theta to this b e p triangle so then tan theta will be equal to b p length divided by e p and EP length is given, this is D by 6, right? So as we can see that this BP length is not known, so we have to find this BP length, right? So as we can see that here we are given this 20 degree, so we can find this BP length by considering this uh, PDB triangle, right? So B, or we can say that BDP triangle. So if we consider BDP triangle, and if we apply 10, 20 to their triangle, so 10, 20 will be equal to this BP divided by this base, this PD. So this means that BP will be equal to PD 10, 20. And we can see that this PD is this D by 6 plus D by 6 plus D by 3. So we can write that this is d by 6 plus d by 6 plus d by 3 and this is 10 20 degree now if we take d common from all of these right so this will be d and this is 1 by 6 1 divided by 6 and this is 1 divided by 3 so from this bp equals to we can write here bp as bp equals to 4 by 6 d 10 20 degrees right and now we are interested to find this theta so from this equation we can write that theta is equal to 10 inverse bp so this is bp we can write that this is 4 divided by 6 d 10 20 degree and this ep length is d by 6 so we can write that this is d by 6 right so now as we can see that this d will cancel out and this 6 will cancel out right so from this we will be left with theta equals to 10 inverse 4 10 20 degrees so when we solve this by calculator so theta this theta comes out to be we can write it here as theta is equal to 55 point Five two degrees, right? So we can write that this theta is fifty five point five two degrees, right? 
Now we will apply the summation of moment about point D and we will assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive. So if we resolve this BE force into its components, right? So it will have uh, one component in this direction, right? And it will have one component in this direction, right? So now as we can see that this cos component of BE, this component, uh, cos component of BE is passing through that point D, so it will not produce the moment about that point D, right? So only this sine component is producing the moment about that point D. And as we can see that this sine component is producing the clockwise moment about that point D. So we will write minus BE sine of 55.52 and the perpendicular distance of this BE from that point D is this D by 6 plus D by 3, right? So D by 6 plus D by 3 is D by 2, right? And as we can see that this L is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point D. So we will write plus L and the perpendicular distance of this L force from that point D is D divided by 3. So I will write d divided by 3 and this will be equal to 0. So we can write that if we bring this to the other side of the equation, so this will become negative there. So we can write it like this. This will be minus and this minus will cancel out. This d will cancel out as well, right? So we will be left with this. So be equals to l divided by 3 divided by 1 by 2 sine of 55.52 degrees. So from this BE member force equals to 0.809L and as we can see that this BE member force is acting away from this point E, so this means that this is the tension force.